So hello everybody. Welcome back to another pool video. Today I'll be showing you my swimming pool that I just set up yesterday. And I'll be showing you how to change the filter cartridge. I'll be showing you how to do the skimmer and all that. So I guess let's just get started with this maintenance video. We'll grab the camera and bring you down to our pool. First off, we got an Intex, 12 foot by 36 inch deep, easy set swimming pool, and we've got an Intex, 2,000 gallon an hour, salt water system and filter pump combo system. The salt water system is a 15,000 gallon model, which means it can clean all Intex pools. So I'm just going to talk about pools for a few minutes. So when I had chlorine on this swimming pool, it was terrible. It was very hard to keep maintenance of this pool. Or should I say my 10 foot pool. It got green after about four days. My mom didn't want to get chlorine because she thought it would be bad on my eyes. So, she, me and my dad just ran out by ourselves. We were on our last filter. So we got filter cartridges, we got um, chlorine tabs, we got a floater, we got some shock. Basically we got our basic chemistry. Let me take the camera off the stand now. Sorry about the shakiness. And show you the skimmer in action. There it is. It's probably, you probably can't really hear me very well because of this stinking jet. We have a slightly unlevel yard, so it's pretty hard to get the jet to be quiet. So I'll just cut the pump off for now. I guess while we're at that, I'm going to do a filter change and all of that. So I'll get the camera back on the stand and set it over the pump. Sorry about all that noise. I know it's probably really annoying on YouTube. Basically our pool isn't very level. Me and my dad just went out and bought 13 bags of sand to level it. And it's still a few inches off. The pool is sort of in an oval shape as you might notice. That's because of our crappy leveling skills. Yeah sort of ovular. There's our sand. Some of it. You can see the pool bulging out because there's a drain cap right there. If you can see that on YouTube. It's a tiny bit lopsided. It isn't bad enough to take down. So I might just live with it. Anyway, I'll demonstrate to you today how to wash out a filter which probably anyone knows and how to deal with the skimmer washing out the filter let me just put the camera out here Close them plunger valves spin this thing off Sometimes it doesn't want to go down the pipe. I might just open that to allow some air to go in. And there's your cartridge. It actually does look pretty dirty. So what I'm going to do is open up our sediment flush here to get all the dirty water out. So that to get any dirty water into the, um, the fern lines. Oh, gosh. Beautiful. It looks like I didn't set the filter cor cor correctly, so I might have been pumping dirt back into my pool. Well, that's my bad. So what you want with your cartridge is it seating on that little middle pipe down there. I don't know if you can see that. My camera's real bad. So 
so it looks like it's done setting it flushing. So just take that cap, throw it back on. Here's your filter. In this case, mine's a big dirt ball. <laughs> After running one day, because I didn't wash it out at all, pretty much, when I brought it out. So I guess let's just wash it. Oops. I'm very bad at filming with this camera. Get out a couple of feet of garden hose. Throw on the water. There we go, I got water. Just put it on jet mode. Well, I might just take this. Could use the Well, who cares? So let's just start the wash. Much water pressure. As you might see, trying to get out as much of the grit out of the filter as possible. Ooh. But it's still not very clean if you can see up in the grooves. That green stuff is from the salt water system, I think. There's a bit of grit in between all the laterals. Anyway, could have done better. So for video's sake, I don't want to sit here washing the filter for now. Put that back in there. Pop your cap on. Make sure that's too. Spin your pipe mat snug. Turn your plunger valve to the left open. Now the mistake I made last night with this, I just grabbed that top cover off and then just took the basket out and it dumped all the debris out. And now I notice there's a handle down in there, and I just grab it, and that takes the cover with it, and it leaves you with a basket full of dirt and a pool. Sorry about abandoning you. Abandoning you. And you just take this little cover off. Basket, not much, because I just installed it yesterday. 
and just get all your grit out of it. There's a leaf, a couple blades of grass, dead mosquito. Throw this back on. Around it. Come on, now you know it. And then, you just drop her in. Just like that. Now I'm going to um, set it up in... I'm going to throw it in filter mode right now. Well, I'll put it in salt chlorination mode to show you what it'll do. So just... There we go. And that annoying jet is back. Anyway, I'll show you what's cool. So there's your copper anode, as you can tell. There's your um, titanium plate. Any second now, you should see it flow bubbles. Very quick, like that. And then there's a ton of bubbles. The jet is blasting. Skimmer is pulling in debris. And your pump's working. That's all the good sign. It means that your pool is ready for summer. I need to tighten this a bit more, don't I? Nope, just a second. It's dripping. It's drip leaking. Anyway, I'll just take the camera around the pool. It's a little lopsided, as I already told you. And I had to um, inflate the ring up pretty tight to get the skimmer to fit on at max. Anyway, here. Right there. Somewhere in that area, I put a patch. That patch is holding the ring closed because one morning I just came outside and the ring, my sister woke me up and she was like, Alex, Alex, the ring's deflated, ah! And I came outside, the ring was flat and the pool was about to fall over on that side. I found the hole. It was a little hole, probably made by a bird or something. And I packed it up with one of those little clear patches that comes with it and fixed it pretty much. Sign that the filter is pretty clean. Your flow sensor is kicked all the way back. Like that. There's no debris flying through here. Anyway, I've got this set. Let me open this up for two hours. Every day. It pulls about 2,000 gallons, so I figured it needs two hours. Because if one hour the water was has a slight algae feel to it and smell. It smells sort of like algae. So I said it's a two hours. Anyway guys, I think that's gonna do it for this pool video, a weekly maintenance. I didn't need the skimming because the skimmer's doing the skimming for me. That's sort of crazy sounding. And I guess, guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and smash that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Alex from 5 signing off.